So he's underway. He's got 75 seconds over the 30-meter course. There you see his heart rate continuing to climb. And with 17,500 pounds strapped to his back, this is a tough pull. This form looks really good. He had a strong start. He did have one little slip, but he's keeping his hips low and getting a lot of power with every step. Good performance. He's got some serious momentum here, and he will stop the clock at 32.40 seconds. So that becomes the mark to beat set by Poland's Barone. For a guy his size, that was a great performance. All right, Phil, you said he had one slight bobble. Here it is. Yeah, you know he's got his hips low. He's milking the power out of every footstep, but just not enough friction on those shoes. So 32.40 seconds is the mark everyone's shooting for. This is Jack McIntosh. He's in fourth place after one event. McIntosh, he really needs the points here. He's going to have to pull something amazing out of that hat to beat Barone's mark. Also, not one of the biggest guys in the group. You can see his hips are a little higher. He's getting good power from each and every step, but just nowhere like Barone. 32.40, the mark to beat. This is Jack McIntosh of England, and he is strapped to 17,500 pounds. He's doing some good work, but he's just not as low as Barone, and really not generating the energy with each and every step that Barone was. Starting to get some speed here. He's not going to beat the time of 32.40, but 36.62 for the man from England. You know, a solid performance, but not the kind of performance that's going to carry him through to the final. He's really going to have to step it up. All right, let's talk about his technique here from the start, Phil. Well, it's a decent start, but you've got to have an all-out 100% maximal effort at that start, because this is uphill, not the heaviest truck pull ever, but it's a fast pull. Two-time champion Zadrunas Zavikas of Lithuania. Now, remember, he finished third in the first event, so he needs the points right here. And you want to talk about experience, Phil. This guy has it all. Ready! Talk about a maximal start. Yeah, he does have it all when it comes to experience. He takes really short, fast, choppy steps. He gets tremendous power. The great technique that works well for him. Tossing the rope as the heart rate goes over 180. One slight bobble, but there is your fastest time so far. Savickas in under 30 seconds. He checks in at 29.94. He's such an amazing athlete. It's really fun to watch him. J.F. Carone isn't one of the biggest names in strength athletics, but he is the early leader in group number one. Can he take down Derek Poundstone and Zadruna Savickas once again? We'll find out when the Metrics World's Strongest Man returns. Mark to beat, 29.94 seconds put up by Zadrunas Savickas. And remember, folks, that's 17,500 pounds. And this particular course is all about a really strong 100% effort on the start and then just trying to sprint uphill with that 17,500 pounds. Quick feet, fast hands for Derek Poundstone of the USA. Now he ditches the rope. Smart move. You know, it seems to work well for Derek here. It's definitely worked well for Zadrunas, who has that fastest time. 34.09 seconds. Not good enough to beat Savickas of Lithuania, but that will put Derek Poundstone currently in third place in the truck pole. So from Derek Poundstone, we go to JF Corona of Canada. Remember, he won the first event, and we put JF and the other 29 strongmen under the microscope in the metric science of strength. They went through a battery of tests to evaluate their athletic ability and physical conditioning. Then we crunched the data and compared the results. Well, numbers don't always show everything in a sport as dynamic as strongman, but you've got to pay a lot of attention to JF power and his agility scores. It's now time to see what J.F. Caron can do with a 17,500-pound yes. truck over a 30-meter course and fill the mark to beat, 29.94, put it by Savickas of Lithuania. 
and this is the classic test of strength. In this particular instance, it's all about a really, really strong, explosive, maximal start. Getting that truck moving as quickly as possible, and then accelerating, trying to sprint up this course with that 17,500 pounds. He's doing a good job, but man, this is a tough course. JF Corona of Canada absolutely selling himself out. There's the mark to beat. He's not going to get that, but where will he stop the clock? 33.22 for the Canadian. That's going to be a great performance. Not as good as Big Z, but definitely taking a point away from Poundstone. Mission accomplished for the Canadian. And there is your winner, Zadrunas Savic. Is his time 29.94 seconds was nearly two and a half seconds faster than anyone else. Poland's Mateusz Barone was second. JF Corona of Canada followed up a victory in the loading race with a third place finish here. And Derek Poundstone of the USA settles for fourth. Savickas and Corona share the overall lead after two events. Both men have 10 points. Poundstone is in third place with eight points. After the first couple of repetitions, manhandling the bell when the body is on the verge of shutting down will be critical and an ability to generate lockouts using either arm will be a huge advantage. We'll have the giant dumbbell when we return to California for the Metrics World's Strongest Man. If anybody owns this event, it's Poundstone. He's so technical, Stone. so proficient. Stone. But when it comes to real pressing power, Zadrunas is king. Stone. This is a great matchup. Down. That's 210 pounds Down. in hand, and Poundstone has now tied Mateus Barone with three, Down. as has Savickas. And now he's the new leader. You can watch Poundstone at the end of every little rep. Just before the lockout, Down. he does a little dip. Down. It's almost an Olympic technique. And then halfway through the challenge, he'll typically switch arms Down. to give the right arm a rest. Down. You see that now yes. he switched to the okay. left arm. Down, third. Savickas now with seven. Poundstone holding at eight. Savickas, on the other hand, he just relies on raw brute power. A lot of times you don't even see much leg drive from Savickas. Third. Poundstone into double Down. figures. Savickas now at nine. That's 210 pounds as we come down to the Down. final moments, and Poundstone has 11. I believe that's the most reps we've ever seen with this dumbbell, Todd. Derek finished. So Derek Poundstone takes the lead with 11 reps at 210 pounds. I think he wanted to do one more with the right after the whistle just to show off. And Zadrunas Savic is a very strong score. Now, remember, he is the co-leader in the overall. He got nine repetitions. Man, when it comes to pressing, Zadrunas is king. But not today. Derek Poundstone, his incredible technique, utilizing both shoulders to put up a never-seen-before 11 repetitions. And he is now standing by with Maylene. Derek, you completely dominated in that event. Talk to us about the technique and the importance of even switching arms midway through. Uh, I've suffered a lot of injuries in this sport, and one of the things that I pride myself on is my training is probably the most brutal of anyone in the world. All the injuries happen during training, so I train this event tirelessly. That was actually very easy for me. It's more the timing and being able to train with both hands that, that separates me from the other guys, and the fact that I, I train the event like you would not believe. So, like I said, it was mine to win or lose, and 11 was... I could have gone for another 30, 40 seconds. Good job, and congratulations again. Thanks, Maylene. Down to our final two competitors, there is JF Corona of Canada, the man who entered the giant dumbbell tied for the overall lead. And his opponent across the way, England's Jack McIntosh, who's in fifth place overall and needs some points, Phil. If these guys ever need to pull it all together and have a miracle happen in the performance, it's right now. So 75 seconds, the mark to beat, 11 repetitions, and that's 210 pounds in hand. Well, great first rep for each of the guys, but this dumbbell is so big, so awkward, it Down. really punishes the shoulder joint. Down. 
Both men holding it two as Caron ah. gets the third. Down. And Phil, what do you think about ah. the pace these guys are working at? You know, these guys are being really efficient, really effective. You don't want to miss a lockout, though. Down. Down. Each of them getting their lockouts. It's that last two or three inches where the stability and the awkwardness really, really comes into play. J.F. Carone holding it five. Both of these guys have fatigued. They were so strong and in the groove with those first four or five reps. Carone able to get a six, recover, very impressive. Just so done. difficult with 210 pounds in hand. Caron with seven, says he's done. McIntosh with four. That big dumbbell is so unforgiving. You can really beat up the shoulder joint with that unless you're totally in the groove and completely in control. Takes a lot of strength, a lot of finesse, and a lot of coordination. Third place for J.F. Caron. He says that's not bad. Seven reps, very impressive. So there have been three different winners in the first three events for group number one as Derek Houndstone picked up the win in the giant dumbbell with 11 reps. Nine reps was enough to give Zadruna to Savick a second. After three events, it's Savick is at the top of the standings with 15 points. Corona and Houndstone are one point behind and share second. Corona and McIntosh are a tie for fourth. Remember, only two men from this group will qualify for the final.